Hey guys, this is iPod Touch, and today I'll be finally doing the Windows tutorials that I promised you guys a little while ago. Now, my first Windows tutorial will be on how to make your Windows PC look like a Macintosh computer, sort of like mine right here. Now, mine doesn't really look like a Mac, but you know, it sort of gives you the feeling that you have a Mac-based computer. So, I'll be showing you how to make your PC sort of look like mine right here. All right, so I'm going to be doing this video in steps, so you guys can follow along as easily as possible. Now let's start out simple. Let's start out by getting the wallpaper. Now I'll be showing you how to get the best uh, Mac uh, wallpaper. So simply go to google.com, go to images, and this is where you're going to type Mac OS space slash X Snow Leopard wallpaper. I'll have that in an annotation. Go to this one right here, the brightest one of all. And I'll leave a link to this picture in the description if you can't type it in yourself. It is by gozinet.net. And it's one of the best Mac wallpapers that I've seen in a while now. So go ahead and save this to your photos and set this as your wallpaper. That's what I'm going to do right now. Let me find it. Here it is. And this is the Mac wallpaper. All right, now I'm going to show you how to get the dock down here. This very, very nice Mac-based dock. Now, it's called the Rocket Dock. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. It's called Rocket Dock. And I'll be showing you how to get the Mac theme for it as well. So it looks exactly like a Mac OS X Snow Leopard computer. So go to rocketdock.com. Uh, I apologize for the birds in the background. They're just, you know, singing and stuff like that. So go to rocketdock.com. Link in the description as always. Uh, go to download, which is one of the tabs at the top. And click on download Rocket Duck and they're set to go. Once you set it up, install it and download it and stuff like that, you'll have this dock right here. You can drag icons into it or you can drag them out if you don't want them in there. So you can edit it as much as you want. And after you're done, you know, personalizing it, I'll be showing you how to get the theme. They go to get add-ons, which is at rocketduck.com. And uh, in the search bar, type in Snow Leopard. And it's the third one from the top. It's called Mac OS X Leopard Skin. I'll post the link also to this in the description. And down here it says download file. Click on that. And click on open. Open. And please keep in mind that you must have WinRAR to have this. I'll post the link to the WinRAR download. It's really, really simple. Nothing too complicated. Now I'm sure most of you have WinRAR already, so I'll, I won't be you know telling you how to get it. So once you have WinRAR opened up with the Mac OS X Leopard skin. You're going to want to extract it somewhere, so click on your start menu, go to computer, click on your local disk drive, your first one, I believe, go to program files, times 86 or whatever you have, go down to, and find rocket dock. If it's not in there, it might be the other, the other program files folder. Uh, just click on rocket dock, and go to your skins folder, it should be easy to find, and in there, don't click on anything, just go to the WinRAR again, Drag the Mac OS X Leopard thing into there. Just drag it in there and it should be extracted and you're ready to go. Alright, so once you're done that, close both programs. Go to your dock settings. Just right click and click dock settings on the dock. Go to your style. Go to theme and change this to the theme to Mac OS X Leopard. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. And you should have this theme right here. Now that's how to get the dock. Now I'm going to show you how to get the... Oh, sorry about that. I use Safari, not Google Chrome. How to get these this really cool theme for the Mac OS X Leopard? Like you know how to change the start menu to an Apple, to an Apple logo. How to change the taskbar to white? Really, really cool stuff like that. All right. So since Windows 7 is really, really hard to find themes for, I use something called Windows Blinds. Now I'll be showing you how to get that. Go to Google.com, and you're gonna want to type in something called Windows Blinds. So windows space blinds like you know blinds as in drapes and stuff. So uh, I'll post the link to this in the in the description. It's the first one. It's called stardock.com your edge and software. Click on that one. And it should take you to something like this, Windows blinds. Now Windows blind is an application for your Windows computer that lets you change you know the start menu, the the x, the minimize and stuff like that. So it's really really cool. Now um, click on download. It's the trial version, but if, if your trial expires, obviously all you got to do is uninstall the program and, and install it again. Or you can buy it. I haven't found a way to find to buy it free yet to get it free. So just go ahead and click download. And once you're setting it up, 
uh, I think you do have to restart your computer after you install it so uh, go ahead and do that right now and go back to this video and you should have Windows blinds now double click on Windows blinds you should have this full this thing right here and at the top click on get more skins alright you're gonna want to get the the Mac theme for it so once you click get more themes it should link you to a page which looks like this so let's let this load up here sorry if it takes a while to load up and uh, once you at this website go in the search bar and type in Mac just simply Mac alright and it should link you to a page and click on the Mac OS X Tiger one install that and add it to your uh, Windows blinds alright very very simple uh, close that up and once you install the theme for it it should be automatically added and click on the Mac theme and you should have it there it is that's simply how to get the Mac theme for the, app, the for the uh, Windows PC and I guess that's it guys it's very very simple if you have more questions comment below I know I really talked fast but I just wanted to make this video as quick as possible so I can edit and all that crap so um, I'll also be doing separate videos so you guys can you know look at those I'll be making a video on how to get expose just a separate video on how to get expose I'll also be showing you how to change your lock uh, log on screen to something else I know nobody hates that you know default one so I'll be showing you how to get a really cool Mac theme for your log on screen so I'll be showing you how to make really really cool tweaks with your Windows computer and I guess this is it guys comment below if you have if you like these Windows computers or if you don't like these series of videos um, I, I really do need some feedback so go ahead and please comment below on what you think of this video I know I did talk really fast and I apologize for that so uh, I guess this is it guys peace out please subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next video